So, welcome back to my garage. I haven't been uh, posting for quite some while now, but uh, that doesn't mean I have uh, had a lot of projects. Um, this one I have today I think is interesting for you to watch. It's a Push E50 engine. It's a Super Maxi engine um, that uh, has only three bearings. Uh, and I want to put four bearings in it. You guys that know what happened in the, the 90s when uh, Piaggio took over Puk, they uh, made the engines a little bit cheaper by taking away one bearing. But unfortunately when you, when you try to tune it, uh, you have problems with that bearing. So I am trying to do this in a way I haven't seen anyone else do and that's why I think it's interesting for you to watch. So please uh, follow me along this road. It's a little bit tricky. But, but I think it will, it will work. So first of all, uh, what's good about the Super Maxi uh, engine is that you have uh, quite uh, big uh, transfer ports in the case. And uh, when you're uh, making, a, for example, a Gilardoni engine, you want to have this transfer uh, uh, a little bit bigger. So you have, uh, I think this is better than taking an, an ordinary one and, and and mill it up. So um, uh, that's why I bought this engine and that's why I'm going to uh, make a uh, place for another bearing in it. So if we look inside, so just to explain what the problem is. So this uh, shaft that you have the, the clutch here and this shaft here uh, is just placed inside the aluminium in the block. So this is where I want to put a bearing on and put it there because that's the way it is on the older engines. So and the way it, I, I want to do it is to really carefully screw this together and uh, put it up in the mill and then I want to use a, a boring head to reach in from this position and carefully bore this out to the same dimension as this. So the tricky thing about this is this is very far down so I had to make a very long boring bar uh, and this is going to <laughs> be, uh, I had to take quite small cuts here I think otherwise it will be um, not so good I think but I, I think this is, this will work we'll see anyway otherwise yeah I had to scrap the engine I hope not <laughs> so okay uh, let's move on to the mill and see how we set it up yeah so <clears throat> the setup is pretty in uh, simple I put in the crank to be able to assure that everything is in line when I put the crank taste together um, and then I clamped it down to the table because the surface against the the clutch is is very it's totally flat, so it's it's a line uh, when I put it down on the table. Just clamped it down with a couple of clamps, this side too, and uh, now I have um, dialed the table in, so we are in the middle of uh, these upper bearing. So and. If we look closer, yeah, so I couldn't dial it in perfectly. It's half, uh, maybe five thousandths of a millimeter off, but I think this will be good enough for, for this small moped engine. So you see, I just dialed it in. So now it's perfectly aligned. At least as best that it can, as it can be. Okay, so now I'm going to mount the boring head and start boring.
Okay, so I'm starting to get close to the right dimension um, and I want to measure it how, how how big it is and I know this is not the best way of doing it but that's the only way I have unfortunately so I have to put this down in here and have to wiggle it around a little bit in the hole to see if it's because I cannot do it, I can't use it the right way, so I have to try to hold it straight. And screw it together and carefully take it out. And then measure it. And it's half a millimeter left, so uh, definitely need to take some more. But it's starting to rub some places up here, so or it's really close there. So I have to put it down and set it to maybe I should take like maybe maybe two at a time. freely take it down a bit to see so here here it spins freely and I hope I can take the last cut here so let's Take it up and measure it and see where we are this time. Measure it one more time and see where we're at. So now it seems like it's perfect. I'm happy there. Um, yeah, so now I dismount everything and see how it looks inside. Okay, so 
as I guess you can see I don't know if you can see them it's a, it's it's a lot of shatter here but it kind of doesn't matter in any way in this way um, <clears throat> otherwise everything seems to be good I guess so it's just to try and fit the bearing and see if it fits inside so put the bearing on the shaft this shelf it it does piece it in fully I'm not sure we should to take a socket and try to press it in no it sounded like it in the bottom so um now we will see if we made the right measurements or not. And it seems like it. It's slightly loose, but I think this will be okay with some Loctite on it. So, oh. a three bearing to a four bearing engine, the hard way. Okay, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.